Hello, one and all. Welcome back to the new. This is, I'll, I'll play this in the new year. This is something I want to do. So, what we're doing today is the Iron Factory Warbitron. Iron Factory Colossus Bruticus set. I'm happy I got this. Then, yeah, the next review will be probably not an Iron Factory guy. I've got two options here on the side. Give me some time, I'll say that. But yes, doing this guy, this guy's great, I'm happy to have him. And I'll make some notes and stuff, so let's get on to it, shall we? Not really. Uh, that's not gonna help, but Jesus Christ, this phone. Anyway, sorry for the massive light coming from there, but phone side, hmm, that's gonna make it dark for you. Yes, here they all are. And we'll start off with legs and build a way up. So here we got Swindle and Ball and oh god, I knocked them over. <laughs> Very nice. So <laughs> very unique styling I have here. Very much and I have Bola <laughs> mistransformed there. Whoops. I will. S okay, let's get negatives out of this. I hate transforming this guy's legs. I honestly hate them. Because they're on a like, uh, double hinge thing, I could flip them out, gain them out. It's best to have a little tool around. Mainly, anything. A flathead screwdriver right here would help mostly. This thing is so useful to me. Yeah, so negative for brawl. Swindle, let's just gain the doors. The arms here folded up, that's it. But yeah, these two are great. Articulation is great as well. Do them separate. Ball is ball jointed head. Arms are ball jointed, but the tongue gets in the way. So you've got a bit of a thing. Okay, it's a double hinge, you have to get it in a certain way. Uh, there's a wrist, which is nice. There is waist, as you saw earlier. Forward and back, in and out. And there is a swirl just below that. A good old knee bend and ball jointed feet. So, so you can get some good poses out of ball. Or swindle. Head is ball jointed as well. We're gonna do full sticks in the arms, in and out. There is a double elbow, but because of the gun here, you can't read it. But I can do it on this one. It's a ball joint and a hinge, so you can get there. There is a waist, forward, back, in and out. It's a swivel just below that, and a hinge. And my god, that's a toe pivot. And the pivot. So yes, you can get some good poses out of him. Uh, that's real something. <laughs> okay, let's get into vehicle mode. We'll go with Swindle first. Take these off. Get the head, push it for a bit, it's on there. and flip it away like so. Next, get the feet sorted. Yeah, put them here and they're on a double hinge here, so flip it up. Yeah, get the arms like s you have to get this peg right there into there, but it's always been a pain for me. It's, I feel like I'm gonna break the joint. Not that much clearance. Rotate the leg without separating them. Let's we do the other arm, I forget. Yeah, it's just a clearance problem for me. Swoop around. Okay, that's easier. <laughs> there. 
there is a peg right there. There's a peg hole in there somewhere. Oh, right there. Swing the arm down and peg it into place. There. Put the blunt down, slip the windshield. No, go really. And this is where the tool comes into play. There. Ah. These three right here. Get some a nail or a fine tool, get in there, flip it out. And flip up these. And they got a slot with this. So they can oh, come on. Let's hold everything into place. And unfortunately he's not finished because he's missing the part up here. That is in this thing. So once we get to this, he'll be finished. But that's pretty much his Jeep mode. Move him up to the side here. Now onto ball. <laughs> Move these guns. You're supposed to be able to swivel the head around. I can't. The ball joints just can't do it. But anyway. What you do is you grab the chest section right here, flip it up. Not keeping the head. Next, it's best to take the tone off. Makes it easier. Let's rotate that waist back around. Okay, for the arms. There's a swoop. Let me get the tool back. There's a swivel around here. Use that, swivel it around. Peg hole right there, peg right there, and done. And use this flap to cover up that nasty opening. And that peg is into like so. Do the same on the other side. Ah, oh, jeez. Oof. There is a peg hole around here. You have to peg these in one more. Let me try. And... There we go. Just up around here. It's in there. Now for the legs. Flipping the heels. And you are cooling them down like so. And you have really you have to get somehow get the extra hinge in there, like this part right here, to flip out first before you can get the whole thing to go up. Into robot mode. I forgot to pick these guys together. Alright. And there. Yeah. Get that in. Flip these tank treads up. Grab the feet, flip them around, and in. Grab the turret. Push it this way, and flip out the turret. And there's his. Tank mode. All right, there you go. Okay, first before I forget, get these weapons. The handles here fold up. Now, getting these things out, you need a tool. It's the only way I can get them out without really hurting myself. But flip the extra handle to that side and peg it in. Same the other side. Peg it in. Plug it in. Very nice. You do have very nice vehicle modes. Very accurate to what they are supposed to be. But yes. Don't worry. Tank 360 and can over up and down. Up and down. Off to the side. Next on to the arm boys. And they come with stands. Thank God. They come with two alternate heads. You got this one for when you want to plug straight into the robot, and this one for flight mode. I won't bother putting on the flight mode. I don't want to like doing it. But anyway, this is Vortex and Blast Off. Very nice. Let's start off with Blast Off. He's a very nice stylized version. He has gun, he has colouring, he has sculpting, it's really good. Well, there's this clear part here. 
If you're not right, it can pop out <laughs> of this canopy there. Well, it's very nice. Now onto a vortex. Very nice helicopter boy. You got a nice stoic detail. Painting's great. And the head sculpt looks good. Wish they came in light piping. That's my part. Right, let's get into posability for them. Head, ball jointed. 360. Oof. In and out. You can get double if you want. Shoulder pads can move. There's a swivel. Good old. Keep holding your gun. Good old hinge. Hand scroll for transformation. There is a waist and a crunch if you feel like it. Ball jointed. In and out, forward and back. Swivel and just about 90. And there's a ball, point. ball joint for the feet. Stay. Vortex. Here, swivel, ball joint. Pretty much the same, it's all the same, just he's got a pivot, more of a good pivot and toe. And his weapons are different. Anyway, let's get on to vehicle modes. Okay, remove this, remove this, and remove this. Okay, mostly you push the head back into there. I feel like I'm gonna snap that head off the ball, the ball joint off this pl play it's on. So best use the tool to help get it out. Next, keep the arm straight, and there's a tab right in there, tap on the arm. And if I can, yeah, and it's really on. That's one part done. If you do the other arm. And these two don't plug into each other. Probably more, more stable, but anyway. Flip this around, there's two tab holes in there, and two tabs on here. And done. And also landing gear. There's some yeah, up there. Let's yeah, open these. Let's best get this pie out of the way so you can get it fully open. <laughs> Peg the legs together and according them. Oh, come on. Ah, it's easy when they're not pegged together. Come on. Now uh, you peg them together, like so. So these parts out, and there is a tab hole right at the tip of my screwdriver there. The, the tab onto this thing, you tab it in. And it's best to straighten it. See right where that, right there where my screw where the top is. Right there's a tab hole. That pretty much holds the wing into place. I'll oh, use. Now for, for these panels back down, get the feet, and on the wall joints, throw it around, and put it in like so. And there's the jet mode. You can get the guns, put them here. That goes top for now. This one goes down here. And there he is. Now the instructions just say you can use one the Flight holding for the vehicle mode on for this to put the gun. I don't because it looks weird and really this looks more funnier. But yeah, this is in blast off. Very nice vehicle mode. And thankfully, it's not a real life jet because people have always gone on size for these guys. And oh god, they were actually sized correctly. <laughs> I rather not have a giant armed Bruticus, okay? Okay, let's go into Vortex. Remove weapons. And remove the cop this part, the rotors. Makes it easier. Okay, first off, swivel the head around. Flip it up. 
and it all picks into place. For the arms, no double hinge. Oh jeez, no, you're not falling on me. There's a tap all around here, right there. No, it's right here. This one right here. There's a tab in like so. oh. Come on. Uh, go again. For the legs. Open this. Flip the toes up. Open this. Flip the toes up. Put them together and rotate. Flip them over. There's two tab poles, two tabs. Peg them in and ah. Numbers. Causing the blade thing to go into arm mode, which you don't want. Okay, there we go. You have to get really flat in. So close these up and there's your copter mode. That's how the extras. So what you do, put this around, there is a tab right there, that's a tab in there. And there's the front of your copter. Get the guns, you can put them aside on the top there. Don't know why. I mean in the real instructions you put them on there for robot mode. I don't like side out. And put this here. And there's the copter mode. Nope, that's the wrong way. I like that. So you have. You kidding me? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't fall down flat. But. Yes, there's the copter mode. Very nice. No entire extensions, that is, if rotors rotate, thank god for that. That's the end, 0 out of 10. Okay, let's go on to the last guys, the Onslaught, and the bust they can do. Also, this is a first edition run of this guy, so I got the little elite RC Hunter. She'll get her own review with another Iron Victory Factory guy. But yes, this guy holds some parts, the... You can see in there this clear blue part right here. That's for when they're in the vehicle guys, the shuttle and the helicopter guy in the vehicle. That's for the stand, and this black section here is for swindle over here. But yes, this guy, the onslaught. Very, very nice. Now, I want to point something out. I lost a piece on this guy. And it's not the biggest piece, but it's more like... It stands out. I lost one of the wheels. I don't know where it went. I'll be honest, it just straight up disappeared on me. That doesn't stop me, because I never really put him in vehicle mode. He goes straight to mine mode. But yes. Sculpting painting is great. Weapon looks fantastic as well. And that's about it. Let's get on to... Probability, head, ball jointed, arms, ball jointed, got a little up and down there. Uh, ooh, there's a swivel, double elbow, wrist, there's a waist, forward and back, can't go back, but in and out. So, swivel right there, good old hinge and a bit of toes. So, you're good for poses. Oof. Let's get to vehicle mode. And you're going to be needing this thing as well. Okay, remove the gun. Oh, it's aside. Okay, first off, grab the chest place. Flip it open. And flip the head down. Close. And then turn around. Flip this up and over. Get back down. Double hinge. Elbows up. 
flip them around like so, and they will peg into place. Peg into each other. Flip this panel around. This tab right here will fit into a top hole right in there. I really want to get the the ruination set they did. It's just a repaint of these guys. Kind of wish they made it so they can tank boys, the leg boys come in the arms, but that would have been interesting. Anyway, fold the fade up and pick the legs again. And I'm calling them down. Put these panels down. Put these panels down. Get this panel right here, flip open and tab into place. And there's the vehicle mode. Okay, let's get this thing going now. Firstly, move this and this. On my computer screen. <laughs> tab that into there. Give him his giant guns and uh, put, plug this into there. There we go. Now for the rest of this, you want to take it completely apart. This little one, this for Vortex, the big one, right, this one's for Blast Off, the other one's for Vortex. Let's put this off to the side. Grab this panel so we can finally finish off. There he is, and we can put the guns on. Uh, the other one went flying. There it is. It looks. Oh, not right. I didn't plug this in properly, but yes, this looks much better now. Okay, what you gonna do? Fine tool, get these wheels out. Separate it because you need to flip this down and around and it's on a mushroom peg that for mine has come loose on both of them. If I'm not careful, they will come undone. Those back together. Grab this thing, peg it into these two holes. Okay, grab this part, flip that down, and then ten eyes down, flip it down, get the wings spread. This, this up, flip the wheels down, up, down. Now what you switch, what you do is plug it in. There's two tab ports right there and the tab port there. There we go. And, oh, this one's not fully in. This tab's in there. We have this, two tabs right there, tab ports in right there, and flip these down. Now it's done, you get this part, flip it out, flip the parts down, there's a tab port right there, right there, this goes in, there we go. This, oh come on. Yeah, it turns the head will get in the way. Alright, this flips up. Two tabs right here, and the crutch is two tabs there. So. We give them a trailer section, which you can put either Vortex or Blast Off on it. Well, it's best to put in Blast Off there. So here are all, they all are. Right. I'm going to quickly grab one of the stands. I said I wasn't going to, but for the group shot, I think I should. Yes.
I think I got them all on the shot. And there they all are together. A very nice cohesive set. And one of my own complete third party sets. I've got three complete third party combiners. This and the other Iron Factory kind they did. And the TFC Ares. They all began to One day. But now let's go on the combined form. Which is going to be fun. Let's move forward a bit. Okay, I'm just going to move all the boys off to the side. Get this part separated. And keep this to the here. Because we're going to need pretty much every piece to assemble this. Oh god. This down and I want to shoot. Okay, this is this is the right left right foot and this is the left foot then. Start on the legs. Let, we get brawl, take the guns off, tank around and just peg it in. <laughs> Two tab holes right there and right there. Get them in. Then there's a tab hole right on this crotch area. This long peg po pegs into. And that's it for all. If I got the head in it. There. And there's his foot mode, that's all you have to do. Which is nice. Swindle. Just take the guns off. Grab the hood here and open it. That's it. It's the same thing, two tab ports. Ah, oh, I forgot to do something. You grab the toes here and flip them around. I Alright, someone put that in the comments. It's like you forgot to do it. Yes, that tabs in. And. There. Legs, done. Moves off to the side. Let's get torso. Take the guns off. Flip. Panels open. Flip them out. Extend the legs, flip them out, and down. The arms up here, yep. Ooh. Flip them out, there is a tab port right in there. The tab on the arm, double hinge it up, and tab it into place. Last one these put these panels open and this is where the combiner part ports are held. The sliders are. You need either a long nail or a tool to get in there to flip them out. And this guy gets the majority of this stuff here. So yep, yep. This thing's always a bugger to take a park. <laughs> Alright. Flip these up, flip them up, up, this part here, flip them up, ooh, that's just, oh, I'm going to flip this up, and this way, this thing pegs into these parts here, but it's always been difficult recently. There we go. Chest piece. You gotta keep the head down. And it tabs into the actual torso. These flip out. Flip the crotch plate back up. Pick up 
pegs into that. <laughs> Very simple. And you get the big gas guns and tap it into the... That symbol there. And that's it for the moment, because we have to do the arms. Let's start off with the right arm, which is blast off. Oh jeez. Anyway, what you want to do, take these parts off again. Keep the hands where they are, stay up here. Put that up. You want to unpeg this, flip it down, this all back down. And you want to stretch out the arm. You want some, you got these parts again. And come on, go like so. Unfold this panel, and it fills in that gap right there. Like so. This flips around. You have the double elbow. Now you grab one of these, which contain the fist. This one's his. Let's unfurl it. And the two ports right there. And there we go. There's the right arm. Okay, lefty. Take this off. This off. And this off. This you got. Take that butt nose gun off as well. Oh! <laughs> Almost lost the gun. Yes, I'm going to quickly take the helicopter rotors off again because it's so much easier. So the arms are like so. There's another tab port. Let's see if I can. That one right there. And you extend this again. And the, this thing forward, open it up. This pe handle here pegs into there. And it's not always do it easy to do. Ah, there we go. Get the copter, flip, put it back on, and get the last hand. That's specially designed for this one only, and plunk it on. Oh, we'll get that out of the way, and there's the arm. Well, let's pull them together now, shall we? Let me get more comfortable. Bring the legs in. Now, if you want to do, you slide them on, tip them up, there we go, get this, and it comes the butt plate, I need to move back a bit, all right, all right, stand up, oh god, yeah, the arm, there's two tab ports right there, Plug into the port. Like this. Grab blast off, do the same, and flip up the horn. And there's Bubicus in his combined form. And he looks great. Especially in the translucent part right there, it's glowing. It's great. And before I forget, uh, the guns. All. These pieces get made into a bigger gun. Flip this up, that up, that up. There it is. This piece, fold that up and the handle. Plugs in like so. Get the yeah. onslaughts, blast offs, and swindles guns form 
with joy of the gun. Get the big ass handle. You get the walls guns, and there are tabs. There we go. There's a tab right there that pegs into the onslaught gun. So there's a tabs on swindle's gun to peg into it. So you do it like so on both sides. And that pretty much locks it all into place. Next this we get vortex guns. Tab holes on both sides. Try some. Okay. See if this is worth bell lining. Yes. Uh, sorry about that. But yes, this pegs into here. And you can peg it into the hands. Also, shockwave. Now, if I remember correctly, he can't peg into that hand. He can peg into this one because of how it's designed. Supposed to happen, but anyway, this will peg into here and wrap the fingers around it. <laughs> this gun does the same old show a bit later, but right now let's get him out of here. Yes, very nice shockwave. Oh, geez, so I knocked over another guy. All right, let's get the pose of. It play well, did. Um, like there. Supposedly, the head is on a tight wall joint. <laughs> I can barely move it without risking damaging anything. Arms, full 360, in and out. Double elbow, because of that ab crunch thing. Yeah, they don't really hold in. Wrists, a swivel, that easy unplug. All right, ball jointed thumb, and with a hinge, a hinge. And the fingers are pretty much the same, ball joint and hinge. Wait, what is this? Okay. There is waist. Let me just get these arms out of the way. Waist. Yeah, skirts and put it out of the way. So for some forward, back, in and out. And let's full. I knew it, I can go further. Let's flip this back now. There's a good old double over 90 degrees there. A good old pivot, like so. So, yes, he is quite the portable boy. And seeing this is Iron Factory's first combiner, they did good, really. I won't say it's the best, but. I the best combiner because I've got the Spirit of the DC combiner as well. And that one's quite good. This guy's good as well. I'm also waiting for the Magic Square Minosaur combiner. Because if you look there, I've got Override from TFM. And I'm getting the TFM combined, don't worry. Yes, this is me. And Bruticus, I suggest you guys get me from a good price. I got mine from a good price as well, which I was happy for. I'll see you all next time for another com I in fact you guy because I want to do this guy because he's been waiting for months. Oh no. Oh. I'll see you all then. Bye.